I'm worried about automation. As automation mm. comes into play, we're going to see a much harder, it's going to be much harder for people to have that labor movement because now they're potentially going to be fighting against these corporations and they're replacing people with machines. And if they're not going to be putting in sort of uh, universal basic incomes, then how is a labor movement going to work? That, that's my concern, I guess, oh, yeah. with the it's labor a, movement. It's a great point because I, I, I just did a, a video for Political Vigilante about Amazon just opened up um, uh, cashierless stores. Yeah. They opened up their first one in Seattle. And they're increasingly putting robots on their floors in their warehouses. So, yeah, that's just an, I would love to see a labor movement, as you said, but I really worry that it's uh, not going to work. How, how could we deal with the automation that is, that is, that is coming, that's happening? Well, my hope is that as technology progresses, some of the problems that are being created by technology will also be solved by technology, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So sure, we might have a rise of automation, but we may be able to make more, I don't know, offset it somehow. Well, I think that that's kind of where the conversation with UBI starts, a universal mm -hmm. basic yeah. income. Right. Because the, the inevitability of it is the technology is never going to go away, which means like once automation starts, it's not, it's not, it's not going to go backwards. It's going to keep going forward. So then you get into the discussion of it's time for a UBI in this country where everyone just gets a, a universal basic income. Um, so I, I think that's going to be part of the conversation.